The guys up front did a really nice job. Um, obviously down a couple guys at that spot, and those guys really did a, did a great job. Um, had some big plays, um, were efficient in some spots, tried some things against a really good defense with a really good defensive coordinator, so it was a good challenge for us. Um, you know, just a solid overall day. How just absolutely old I look. I was asking the DBs, I was like, man, how bad did that look? I was like, I mean, I, they can't touch me or whatever, but, uh, and they were just laughing at me, but uh, I'd have laughed at me too. So, um, but shoot, I guess it worked. What were you doing following? What were you doing following? Well, I was scrambling, point? scrambling, and then I was trying to throw one low to keep it down, and it kind of got batted up, and I'm like, of course, here we go. And it was sitting on some dude's helmet, and I was like, all right, I'll take it and try to sneak in, and uh, I guess it worked. I don't know. Probably would have gotten tattooed, to be honest with you. What did Verdone say to you? <laughs> Nothing. He's got no words. Uh, you know, that's a drill we do all the time and throw it, catch it off a bag and try to score. No, we've never done that. But uh, no, it was uh, it was fun. Fun little part. Following up there outside of playing cleanup man or the end zone, like you were just talking about, how did you feel in some of those red zone drills? Oh, it was good. You know, I think um, obviously some opportunities um, through a touchdown to DeMarcus. Nice one to, you know, DA. Missed with DA in the back of the end zone on one, which I wish I had back. But uh, it was good, man. I, I thought we did a great job of kind of mixing it, running past today, some play action stuff, keeper game, all of it. Uh, you know, we have good plays, and then there's definitely going to be plays to look at and go, man, let's clean this up or let's detail it. How would we play? If we were playing these guys in a game, how would we, uh, you know, change this play or move on to another one? When you're not scheming and not game yeah. but 11's out there, how does that help you as a quarterback and as an offense? Yeah, I mean he's he's one of the you know one of the guys in this league where you gotta you gotta be accountable you know to where he is on every single play. Um, I had a lot of practice for a couple of years with a guy named our 99 that I practiced yeah. against uh, all the time, so kind of understand that. And we you know all things being equal, cool, yeah, we were trying to help out over there if we could send the line that way. But they got some good players on the other side too. 90 still rushing like uh, like he knows how too. So um, it was a good challenge for us all the way around. I thought our guys did a really nice job, stepped up, and uh, you know just. It's great when you can go practice against a team that practices like you practice, right? There wasn't a bunch of BS going on, a bunch of late hits or any of that kind of stuff. Everybody just moves on to the next play, and we go and, and get good work against a really talented uh, football team. They're trying to put Mike in all different kinds mm -hmm. of places on the field. What did you notice about just how unique it is, what they're trying to do with him? Yeah, I mean, uh, he's a talented player, right? He can play from a two-point off the ball, two-point on the ball, three-point. Um, you know, it's not unlike some of the stuff that I've seen them do in the past with him. Obviously, you know, Zim's going to have his own kind of um, – you know, feel on that, a little twist on that. Um, but he's a he's a chess piece for sure that they can move around and he can make plays from all different spots. Matthew, I, know, I know you're very familiar with Zimmer's uh, defense, but what, what are you looking to specifically apply with the information you gleaned from specifically his character? No, I mean, I think it, the biggest thing for us is it just tests our rules, right? Like, we didn't game plan. We had no idea what we were about to get. Um, I, you know, I have somewhat of an idea just based on playing him, but uh, he's got new, new guys to move around, new things he... He's got ideas all the time, so he's always made it uh, made it difficult on offenses. But uh, it's just a good way to test our rules, our communication, right? We got to find, okay, where's eleven? What front are we getting? What backers are we getting? What pressures? All that kind of stuff. We got some really good, unique looks, um, base type looks with nickel personnel and all sorts of stuff. So it was uh, it was good. A couple more guys. When you, um, I know we're looking ahead past, or I'm looking ahead past the preseason game, but next time you face the Chargers, is there anything in particular that you know you personally want to? Clean up or... Yeah, I mean, every time I step out on the practice field, I try to be better, right? I mean, it doesn't matter if we're practicing against the Cowboys, the Chargers, our own guys, whatever it is, right? And each individual practice is going to be its own story, and you got to each play really is that way too. So I thought we did a really nice job. If we had a negative play today, an incompletion or a run that didn't go anywhere or whatever, hey, just move on to the next one. How can we uh, can we find a way to, to be better on the next play? And I thought our guys did a really nice job responding. So next time we go against those guys, obviously another opportunity to go get better, and, and we'll, uh, we'll look at it as that. Understanding that they may better inform your evaluation of the offensive line and how they play, but considering what you mentioned that the Cowboys have in their past uh -huh. rush, how do you feel they did today? Uh, they, I think they did a nice job. You know, I think, you know, Sean uh, called this practice a little bit like we would call a game um, versus a team like that. You know, it's like, hey, we're probably going to be a little bit heavier in the run game, um, getting some quicks off, and if we're throwing it down the field, we're going to make sure we're closing the edges and trying to help out. And so we called the, the practice a little bit like that. Um, Un unknowing of scheme, just personnel-wise, and uh, I thought our guys went out and executed pretty well. You come in here with expectations, and part of that, as you said, is just to get better. Mm -hmm. Did anything today exceed your expectations? Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know that uh, other than trying to get better, I had any. You know what I mean? It was like, hey, let's go get a look at, at what we have against, uh, you know, a quality opponent. And uh, I thought there were some 
some chances to make big plays. We either made them or we didn't in certain instances. Um, I thought there was quality in the run game. Um, some new stuff we're working on scheme-wise that showed up and you know and, and looked pretty good today. So uh, I got to go look at the tape and really kind of dive into it and see what all happened. But uh, I thought it was a good good day. You know, pushed ourselves. It was a lot of football plays for for the one group out there, and it was uh, good for our guys to kind of push through it. Dallas is home. When you, you know, you grew up around this franchise. Yeah. Can you take a moment on a day like this just to kind of appreciate your journey? Yeah, nice. definitely. I mean, uh, every time I get to step on the grass, you know, you got to have a little bit of that, right? A little bit of appreciation. I definitely, I jogged out here. I think it was only the specialist warming up over there. And, uh, you know, still just seeing that, that uniform was like the one I had when I was a little kid running around, right? I'm like, oh, yeah, there they are, you know, <laughs> and I'm 16 years later getting to do it again uh, against these guys. I'm, I'm definitely blessed to be able to do what I get to do. Um, and, and try to lead these guys and, and have a bunch of fun while I do it. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Okay, guys, first of all, it was uh, you know good to be able to get the work. We got a lot of reps for our first group, um, ended up on both sides of the football, uh, didn't have any sort of issues, and that was the goal. You know, I, I got a ton of respect for the Cowboys, Coach McCarthy, Jones family. It's a first-class operation, and to be able to come out here and get the work that we did, um, you know, it was it was a positive day for us. We'll look at the film, and, uh, and we'll have a lot of things that we'll be able to correct, but it's just a practice, and then we'll be able to continue to move forward. Do you have a status update on Go ahead. No, it sounds like you got uh, poked in the eye is what Artis just shared with me, so uh, that's the update that I have. Definitely a good challenge going against Michael Parsons. Where do you see how this quarterback play compared to the last year's practice? Yeah, you know, I think when you really look at it, there were some things that were uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic, but a lot of the plays that didn't feel good in the previous practice was tip balls. Those are sometimes unforeseen things that can't really do anything about. I thought Matthew made good decisions against the Chargers, and I thought he was excellent today. You know, Micah's an unbelievable player, Demarcus Lawrence. Uh, I think Coach Zimmer and Coach Gunther and their staff, they did a great job mixing up a bunch of looks, and you see there's a lot of good players on their back end. So, um, you know, there was, there was a really good amount of work that we got. A lot of learning opportunities definitely wasn't perfect, and we've got to continue to take steps in the right direction. What was going through your mind when Stafford's going after the tipped ball and running and you know, stumbling? Stop, the end stop, <laughs> stop, stop. It was, hey, he had fun, though. And you could see, though, the respect that they had for him. They kind of all just let up, and he was enjoying that. So I got asked about that. That was a fun play. Um, but uh, I was thinking, stop. <laughs> Them in the we, we haven't decided that yet, you know, and, um, you know, those are the things that we'll talk about over the next couple days. Obviously, I made mention of the guys that have played in this league. They won't do that. Um, the guys that you guys could probably project, okay, are they playing or are they not? Um, it is important work, though. We did that with all of our guys last year. Those guys did play. Um, and so we'll, uh, we'll continue to evaluate, and we'll make the decision that we feel like is best. And might not be best for everybody, but I'll always try to make the decisions that I think are best for our team. You hit on this a little, but how are you with such your offensive line? I thought it was better. You know, I think we need to continue to get in better shape. You know, if we want to be able to play the way that we're capable of. But I think, you know, Kevin Dotson, I thought Steve did a nice job today. Um, his command, I think, you know, Joe Nopum's doing a really nice job. You know, we all know what a versatile player Joe is. Warren is taking steps in the right direction. And Zach Thomas is getting a lot of reps that, um, you know, he's taking advantage of. But there'll be some things that we can certainly clean up. But I thought, uh, you know, I, I like the sense of urgency. I thought their energy was better. I thought they played with a better edge while also playing within the confines of how we want to practice. Um, but there's always going to be things to improve for myself and for all of our guys. A couple more, guys. Yeah. follow that offense like you would in a game between that you're going after and playing against that kind of defense? What was your reason for that? Yeah, well, we actually had more move the ball. We didn't have any – everything was predetermined against the Chargers. And so while it's good to get different situations, that's not – you know, it's not exactly a replica of how you would play a game. And so there were some situations and scenarios that were more realistic. It's unscripted. You're playing real down in distances. You're moving the ball. And so um, that's probably what he meant. I'm not sure exactly what he meant by that. But there were some more scenarios that you try to mimic and emulate exactly like a game instead of saying, all right, we're going to get, you know, a first down here, a second down, then a third down. Or we're going to get predetermined down in distances in the red area. Um, that was what the Chargers practice was. This was a little different. So because of that, and you didn't game plan, when you see 11, like Carson, what, what, what advantage does that help you as a coach and for your offense? Yeah, I mean, well, we were saying wherever he is, you find him and you slide to him. So, I mean, we, we didn't game plan. We didn't know. I thought they did a really good job of having him in a variety of spots. Um, 
but it's a good test, you know, and I think Demarcus Lawrence is an excellent player, and they've got, you know, some good players on the interior. They've got excellent players on the second and third level. So, really, any time that you're able to get into these settings where Coach Zimmer does a great job mixing it up, you don't really have film to go off of. Um, there's some similarities to what he was doing when he was in Minnesota, but we're playing rules ball, and I think that's important. You want to have some all-purpose plays, and then you'll learn, like, oh, man, that's not an all-purpose play. And so I think this is as good of a situation for coaches to learn from as well. There was things I learned from against the Chargers. There'll be things even in the framework of that practice you're saying, man, that's a dumb idea. Uh, let's put our players in better situations. And then some you're saying uh, you feel like it's a little bit more rule-tested. And so uh, that's kind of what these practices are, and that's what's great. And get the same thing against the Chargers again, and then hopefully against Houston here in a couple weeks. We'll two more guys. Go, go, I think experience, you know, because he's a really conscientious player already, Jordan. And, you know, you look at the amount of ball production that he had at Miami. You look at what a tough player he is. He understands the game. He recognizes concepts. And then I think, you know, there's a lot of intricacies in terms of what Aubrey and Coach Beak are teaching on the back end and what Coach Shul is asking. Um, but he's getting more and more comfortable. He's seeing a lot of different things. I think sometimes you can get accustomed to just seeing our offense where we operate a certain way. We try to still make sure that we're getting some things that prepare him for the season. But seeing the Chargers, seeing the Cowboys, who are an excellent offensive outfit, you know, it'll get him more and more comfortable just seeing a variety of different things. And, you know, repetition is the mother of learning. And when you apply it the right way, that's where you're seeing the improvement from Cam. Will Garoppolo play? Yeah. I thought he was awesome. You know, I thought he did a great job. He, you could see his sense of urgency. I've, I've mentioned how good of a job DeMarcus has done in his second year. I feel very similar about Tyler Johnson in terms of the confidence, the ownership, the understanding. He's a grown man. He had a great route. I thought he ended his day in a really positive way with a great play action route um, on the left sideline, making a big play, creating a bunch of separation for Matthew. Uh, had some really tough physical blocks at the point of attack in some shorter situations, third down and one and some second and shorts. Um, so I was really pleased with him. He's doing an excellent job. As far as Jimmy, you know, um, I'll talk to Jimmy. I, I would probably say probably not, um, you know, because, um, you know, I think it's important for Stetson to get a bunch of work, and um, Jimmy's played a lot in this league. But if he said that he thought he wanted to, knowing that he's going to miss those first couple weeks, um, I'd be open to it. But I would err on, you know, my inclination right now is that I would not want to play him unless he told me he wanted to. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys. You got it.